hi here we will apply tabular method for the frequency count approach to find out the number of steps for given algorithm which is finding uh, some of the given list of numbers so here we are uh, passing the uh, uh, values to the function the, we are take, taking a table so here this is indicating uh, steps for execution okay number of steps for execution then this is the frequency number of times that is each statement is executing so this is total number of times which is executing so here uh, for function uh, definition we are not uh, uh, taking as a uh, number of steps so the frequency is also zero then here uh, declaration uh, uh, and assignment operation is also there. So assignment operation will take one unit of time. Uh, so the number of steps uh, for execution is here one and uh, how many times it is declared only one time it will declare. So one unit of time. So for this statement one unit uh, total number of times execution is one. Then declaration which is consuming zero unit of time and uh, which is zero then for loop which is uh, considered as a one unit of time for each time so each time it is consuming one uh, one unit then how many times it is executing so it will it will execute n times it will uh, enter into the loop so when it is uh, executing at the n plus one time it will exit from the loop so when n is uh, that i value i value is greater than n it will uh, exit from the loop but this condition will check so due to this it will uh, it will check this condition n plus one times so this one unit of time will consume for n plus one times so frequency of this operation is n plus one times so total number of steps of this statement is n plus one then this sum statement is uh, executed one time for each iteration so how many times this iteration will uh, execute so n times it will execute so one unit of time is uh, uh, consuming for each iteration this iteration this loop this uh, in, in the statements inside the for loop will execute n times so, so the so n times this uh, uh, statement will execute n uh, so 1 into n n unit of time so total number of time consumed n unit then finally we are returning the value of sum so it is consuming uh, one unit of time so how many times it is executed only one time so total number of uh, steps is one so now you add all these three you will get 2n plus 3 so we can apply the tabular method also to calculate the number of uh, steps of written algorithm thanks for watching